Hey everybody, it's Renee Stewart, Senegin's distributor and lead makeup artist. So I know that a lot of the, um, a lot of people are curious on um, when I say I use our foundation and airbrush. Um, it's not the metal gun like uh, Dynair or anything like that, or the Bellagio. It's the Temp 2 gun. It's a Temp 2 gun like this, by Temp 2. And now they sell it in colors. Um, yeah, of course, when you buy it, you'll probably get a a couple pods that look like that in your color foundation. What I usually did is I uh, emptied out half of it and then I poured our foundation, mixed it up, and spray it on. And then as you start to use your product, it turns into being 100% our foundation in there. And a lot of people are like, well, how do you actually uh, put our foundation into the pod? Okay, so that's the tricky part, just because um, obviously we don't sell Temp 2 guns, but uh, our foundation does spray on beautifully out of this pod. So what you do is when you get your pod, it's going to come fully assembled like that. Okay, uh, my color is warm beige with the Temp 2 company, and my color is tan with uh, the Senegence Make Sense Foundation. You take the top off. Okay, now in there... There's this little plunger thing. It's a whole, it's like a washer so that your your stuff your foundation doesn't spill out. I take a uh, I don't know what you call these. They're like little they're for your hair. Anyways, you take it safety clip. Or <laughs> I don't know. I don't wear them, so I don't know. Um, and you take it and you what you want to do is you want to pop that plunger out like that, like so. Okay, so once that pop is out, it's a little plunger and it looks like this. Don't lose it. Now you've got a big hole. Okay. Then you're going to take your foundation and you're going to gently uh, work it in there. And you kind of work it. You have to work it. Sometimes if you have a little funnel, that works good too. Otherwise, I just squirt it in like that. And then I tap it on something. To create an air bubble, I mean to open up that air pocket. And, and so you're just going to continue to do that. Once that's done, then you replace the plunger. Yeah. Once that's done, you replace the plunger. And when you replace the plunger, then um, I'm just showing you how to do this really fast. So that's how you would fill it. Of course, make sure it's not all spilled around the edges and stuff because sometimes uh, that happens just because these two products are not from the same company. So then you take your plunger and you stick it back in the hole, like so. Um, okay, so now it's back in there. Make sure it's nice and clean. Always keep your products clean. And then you're going to shake it. And I already have my silk on as well. Okay, and then you're going to shut. So you can add the pearlizer in here if you want to. Gosh, I'm so tired. Okay, you take it and then you're going to turn it turn it on and usually I set mine to like I don't know if you can see it but yeah, there's the dial and you can turn it lower for lighter coverage open it up for heavier coverage um, I also have a pod um, for my blush so what I did is I took a pod blush and I put the bronzer with the toasted rose in there because that's what I like to wear. Gosh, I like to try shake it up, and that has my um, bronzer in it from our company. Um, as you hear it, you can hear the beads. It's just, that's a real, if it bangs around a lot, like our foundation has beads in it too, if it bangs around a lot, then you know you're getting kind of low and that you want to refill it. But then you can shake it, and then when you apply it, you're going to hold it uh, like six inches from your face. But um, if you have an area that needs to have more attention, then you can hold it right on there. Like for blemishes, I go right up to the blemish like that and I spray it and then it goes, it's gone. So then you just spray it and you go in circular motions. And I'm gonna show you like what it's gonna look like. I don't like it, so it's gonna be like that. That's how that goes, okay? And you're holding it away. Now, when I, as the lead makeup artist, I apply our foundation when I don't have my gun. I apply it from the bottle with a stippling brush, a flathead stippling brush. A lot of you have gotten yours from me as well. 
um, you go ahead and um, this that stippling brush is actually the same idea as this. So what this does, this is putting dots per inch on your face. The more dots per inch, the smoother the look. That's in photography. Same with that. This is going to put on dots per inch. The more dots per inch, the smoother the look. Okay? If anybody knows about photography, they know what I'm talking about. Or if you're into HD. You know. So, there it is. That is our foundation sprayed on with a temp two gun. Okay, so now I'm going to do my bronzer because I also have a pod with my bronzer in it. Um, I use the uh, toasted, I mean, I use the bronze foundation. I mean, the bronze um, blush. I use the bronze blush in here with pearlizer and I mix it together. Um, you can use, that works really good. I like it. Okay. You can add a little of the um, foundation too if you like the bronze look. Like I would use a cafe only. Okay. And uh, sometimes some pods need to be turned up a little higher. And then I just spray it on like so. And then after I do all this, I'm going to um, do my uh, I'm going to do my makeup. But this is how I do the bronze part of it. And I just like the way it looks. I know it's our, in our blush um, section, but I personally like to wear it like this with pearlizer. So there. And you look so tired, huh? Mm. We've been traveling a lot. That's about it. Okay. Um, okay, so more about the Tem2 later. If you guys have any questions or concerns, just uh, message me here or, you know, go and, uh, yeah, call me. <laughs> a lot of you know who I am and know my number, and just give me a personal call, and if you want to do any personal trainings or whatnot, give me a buzz. Bye.